Big update alert! The very first One UI 8 beta for the Galaxy S to 3 Ultra has just surfaced, and the release is happening sooner than we all thought. Samsung's 2023 powerhouse is now lined up to test drive Android 16 with One UI 8 on top. This time, the company isn't dragging its feet like it did with One UI 7. Instead, it looks like Samsung is flipping the script and moving fast. Leakers confirm that the Galaxy S23 series will get the beta starting in September, rolling out as part of Samsung's third expansion wave. This speed is rare for Samsung. Normally betas creep out slowly, but right now the company is trying to put its latest flagships ahead of the curve. But here's the twist. Not everyone will get it on day one. That's just how Samsung works. Launch in a few places, gather feedback, then expand. Still, for those in eligible countries, September could be the start of something exciting. Meanwhile, Samsung isn't stopping with the S23 series. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5 have already been part of internal One UI 8 testing. Both of these foldables are also expected to get the beta in September. And knowing Samsung, foldables may even unlock some exclusive tweaks that other devices will have to wait for. Foldable first features are almost a tradition now. Here's another surprise. The Galaxy S24 lineup is already in the beta phase. And even crazier, the S25 series has received its final one UI8 beta. That means Samsung is racing toward a stable release, which insiders say could arrive next month. This faster rollout shows a clear shift compared to the messy, delayed schedule we all endured during One UI 7 cycle. So what's actually new? One UI 8 is centered on smoother animations, refined transitions, and updates to core apps. It's not about flashy features, but about making everything feel cleaner, quicker, and more responsive. Multitasking should feel easier, and day-to-day -day navigation will likely see fewer hiccups. But as with any beta, not everything is finalized just yet. Some features are clearly missing, advanced multitasking layouts and certain foldable exclusive tricks. This makes the beta feel incomplete in some areas. If history repeats itself, Samsung will probably save those additions for One UI 8.5, which is already rumored for next year, so expect this to be a work in progress. Earlier this month, Samsung shared its official beta roadmap. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 were quickly added, followed by multiple A-series models. This wider beta rollout proves Samsung is no longer holding back updates just for premium phones. Mid-rangers are finally part of the conversation, which is a big shift in strategy. Here's the list for September. Galaxy S23 lineup, Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, Galaxy A55 5G, A50 for 5G, A36 5G, and A35 5G. But owning these devices isn't enough. Samsung caps the beta slots per region. Once those fill up, you're out of luck until the next release. That's why signing up early is absolutely critical if you want to get in before the gates close. Even then, you might not see the update on day one. Samsung rolls out updates in small batches, meaning some users will get it instantly while others may wait days or even weeks. So patience is key, but staying alert could be the difference between getting in or missing out entirely. Watch closely for the one UI beta program banner. That's your invite. Tap it, register fast, and secure your spot before slots disappear. If you miss out, you'll have no choice but to wait for the stable release. But let's be real, beta testers always have the bragging rights of experiencing Samsung's future first. So tell me, Galaxy fans, do you think Samsung's faster rollout means they've finally learned from their past mistakes? Drop your thoughts in the comments and get ready, because with One UI 8.5 already on the horizon, Samsung's update story is just getting started.